scribbling for the past couple of minutes. So, I began at the housing circle and um, I heard concerns about vacancy rent control, the importance of decentralizing rental opportunities, new housing going up around the LRT and that it needs to be affordable, and concerns about NIMBY not in my backyard. Um, I can tell you that in uh, the past uh, four years that I've been in office, the province has funded uh, quite a few additional homeless uh, housing umbrella groups. Uh, we have 45 in the region, and we supported them with $8.4 million to create 77 new units, and uh, we're adding to the 1,324 already created. And I know that that's a bunch of numbers coming out at you. Uh, but we're very active in supporting um, our region, and we have a very active affordable housing plan, and I'd be happy to discuss that with you after when we have time. Some of the groups that we support are NCC Mental Homes and Supportive Housing of Waterloo Region. Oh, one minute, okay. <laughs> Democratic Reform was my next circle that I went to. I was asked to comment on first past the post versus proportional representation. If this matters to you, please make it a front burner issue. You need to discuss this because in the past four years, in office, I only heard one person in that time come to me to talk about it from Jen. Where's Jen? There you are. Thanks for coming to my office, Jen. Uh, next circle I attended was uh, income security. We had a conversation that centered on breaking the cycle of poverty. Uh, ODSP, 30 seconds, okay, and OW have gone up by 3%, but it needs to be greater. I agree with you. Some of the other things that we are doing to make life more affordable in Ontario, this is your Liberal government delivering this, is increasing the minimum wage, free tuition for low and middle income students. OHIP Plus, it's free medicine for anyone under 25 and over 65. Free preschool and the Ontario Drug and Dental Program. I know there's some folks here lobbying me on that. They're very happy to see that. And we have increased CPP, and that pressure came from Ontario. Zero seconds left. Healthcare and the environment. Let's talk about it. <laughs>